Hello, my name is Jamie Flatley. I'm going to teach you how to verify a toll-free number, all right? Um, I've probably verified more toll-free numbers than you've had hot meals, so I'm more than qualified to teach you about this subject. Uh, the verification process changed a lot, probably about five or six months ago, and it made it a lot harder to verify numbers. Beforehand, anyone could do it, um, so I'm, I'm pretty sure that's why they changed it. So I'll show you exactly how you get them verified now, okay? Most people that I know, they're waiting quite a long time to get their phone numbers back and then when they wait to get their phone numbers back they then reject it and they have to go in again and i've had more go high level support calls than you know mina from go high level support if you're seeing this and i've already fist bump 100 percent um yeah i know them on the first name basis all right and that's how i figured out to do this <laughs> because what's funny but i'm going to ramble a bit more is go high level have not updated any of their support documents all right, from when the kind of legislation changed. So it told you, look, error code on the phone number, all right? And then from then you click, okay, let's look at the page to see my support code. And then it's not on that. Okay, so go ahead level haven't updated anything. Luckily, I will update you. So I'm in this sub account here. I just went to settings. I'm gonna click business profile, all right? And the key thing to get this verified, all right? Is fill out the friendly business name, fill out the legal business name, all right? If you're registered, business email, firm, phone number, Add in a website as well, and you can put in whatever niche you do. Obviously, I do not deal a bar, okay, or deal at all. So we also have the street address. Put in the whole registration of your company. Um, if you're not registered, just put a address, okay. And um, time zone, whatever business information. If you're registered, just say, all right, put in your registration info and everything like that. Because I believe for toll free numbers, you do need to have a registered business. Um, I do have a work way around it, so there is going to be a link on the description to book a call with me. If you don't have a registered business, then you need a phone number because I can sort you out with phone numbers, which is absolutely awesome. I'll put this in here. You put in your information, all right? Put in whatever name you have, whatever. Email, job position, country code, phone number. From then, we're going to go to phone numbers, okay? And I'm going to buy a number live for you, okay? So add phone number. We're then going to get a toll-free number. to filter. I love buying 877 phone numbers okay one person i know told me that they have a better deal of ability and i believed him because there was no evidence to say otherwise and i really don't care which toll free number i'm getting purchase two dollars okay i've invested in this video i've invested in you the least you could do is smash like no, i'm joking I'm click verify legal entity name this is where you type in the exact same information all right that you put in the business profile Make sure it's absolutely the same. So I'm going to fill this out now. All right, I'll see you on the next page. And quick note to add, this website URL, all right, is super important because you need to have certain things on your website for your number to get verified. And I'll show you what those are, all right? There's one specific thing you need to have on the actual form because the reason why we're verifying this phone number, all right, is to use it however we want. And to go high level, we have to basically tell them, okay, look, this is the way I'm going to use the number. And you have to basically give them an example where people can actually opt in, etc. So I'm going to show you what that form would look like. So on your website, you need to have this. You need to have a form with, it doesn't have to say these questions exactly right. Key thing is phone, it needs to be optional. So full name, phone, address, that's just for context, all right? And then this here, so important. I can send to receive SMS notifications, alerts from Bleep. message frequency varies, message and data, blah, 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 blah. okay. You can just pause the video, type that out, whatever the fuck. Um, alternatively, I can just send you a doc as well that basically has all the information that's just copy and paste. Um, I can, I'll tell you how to get that at the end of the video. Um, and by checking this box, I agree to receive occasional marketing messages from, okay. Privacy policy, SMS terms of service. The SMS terms of service, very important. There's something up here like the short code or something like that. I can't remember exactly what it was, but I know for a fact if you have this, then you're going to be golden. There is some stuff at the bottom of it. It's not too important. And so you need to pause the screen, copy that, or just figure out um, the way I'm going to tell you how to get the resources. Okay. So we're now back here. All right. I literally just click next. Have to fill out all the information beforehand with the website. One other note to add about the website is it needs to be fully fleshed out. Okay. Meaning there needs to be a home page, like a, a contact us page, maybe a page of a gallery of whatever images or something like that. You need to have like a four to five page website and you can't just submit like the funnel link, right? You can't just submit a link to a funnel or it's a static page. They're going to check out the root domain, all right? 
So you're going to check out the root domain you give and make sure there's a website on the root domain that is fully fleshed out and is actually a legit business with the address and the, the phone number and the email and everything in the footer at the bottom. And just make sure it's a good standard website so that they think you're an actual legit business. Because this is the whole reason we have to verify them is they're trying to see if you're legit, right? So it's either just tell the truth or know how to lie, <laughs> right? So I'm going to fill in this information and then click next because this is going to be important. All right. So estimated monthly volume, 1,000. Use case categories, customer care events. Use case description, literally just copy and paste this top one here, all right? For the message content, I have this one that I always copy and paste. So hello, it's name from business. Thank you for opting in to receive SMS notifications from us regarding your niche needs. We've scheduled the time for you on appointments, blah, 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 all right? Web form here, because you've put a web form on that page, at least hopefully you have, otherwise this will not work. And then in here, what you're going to do is make a Google Drive link. I pray to God you know what a Google Drive is, right? If I have to explain that, then why the hell are you even on go high level, okay? Um, so put it into Google Drive link. Two screenshots. One screenshot of the form with a little bit of text underneath that just describes stuff about compliancy. And then the next screenshot is going to be the top of the SMS terms. So basically the two screenshots I just showed you on the Myra, all right? Put that into Google Drive. Make sure the link is publicly accessible for anyone to view. And then copy and paste that link into here. Then click, yes, agree. And then click submit information verification. And you're done, okay? That is how you verify the toll-free number. Sometimes we'll have something pop up that says, Oh yeah, make sure to verify your identity or something similar to that. All right. All you need to do is just verify your identity. And make sure you turn off your VPN as well, because otherwise it won't work. And in some reason that your business or whatever you're trying to verify doesn't sync up with your ID whatsoever. Like I said, there's going to be a link for you to book a call with me. Literally, I can sort out your phone number needs, whatever. It takes like two days rather than you watching a video and then submitting all the information, waiting two weeks and then fucking fails and you have to then verify again and then by the time you know it two months have passed and you still got a phone number so if you just want the phone number straight away then just put that call with me all right um but the way i'm going to send you over that google doc for you to literally have all the copy and paste calls straight into here and um, with basically the website example absolutely everything and it's on that call i'm going to give it to you all right so book that in and then what we'll do is we'll go over that on the call and i'll just pretty much show you that because it also might change over time okay um another key if what else is there? Yeah, another key thing probably, um, you can actually pre-verify phone numbers as well. So there's a special way to do this. I'll show you how on the call. Um, however, what we can do is actually pre-verify like 20 to kind of 30 numbers for you in 20 to 30 different sub accounts so that when you onboard clients in the future, all right, it simply means you only have to wait like two days for you to set up the ads rather than and you actually having to wait for the phone number to be verified and your client's like, why are we not launched or whatever? So if you think having like 30 sub accounts all the phone numbers in ready to go would probably help, I can show you how to do that as well. All right. So we'll speak soon. Pleasure. And uh, yeah, in a bit.